So here I am again and what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to just go to site space and in the project I have some results here but I'm going to remove all of them okay I'm just going to remove all of them and also in the data part I have the previous data I'm going to remove all of it as well and then I'm going to paste my new data okay so this is the data that we used in one of the previous studies on green supply chain management okay which i have also shown in one of the his side videos and here actually we had uh, quite a large number of data sets and that's why actually uh, you see that uh, it's uh, four files okay so this is also web science data but what i have to do is actually i have to put download in front of it because otherwise site space will not work so i'm going to put download okay so i've now put download in front of all these files maybe it's also a good idea to have a look into the paper so this is actually the paper and it is one of the most cited paper actually uh, and it was published in this journal it's a more engineering focused journal but it, it's impact factor eight point something okay so it's a very high impact journal so if i just go for the full text okay so here you can see our reporting is standard for the uh, literature search so in the end we actually had about 1500 uh, articles okay so 1523 so that is why we actually needed four data files okay and here just to have a look into our, our time range here you see we have articles from 1997 until 2016 okay so this is important for me because i have to define it in my site space so here i am again and i'm going to open my site space so this is my site space i run it and here it is i make it bigger just to see the lower part so Maybe get big and here I agree and here I am it is open again so now it seems actually I have the same I, I have the same setting uh, from previous time uh, it looks like so it should be in the same places no I, I don't actually I don't need to open a new one okay so it looks like the paths are fine actually because I put my new uh web science files in the same path so it should be okay here i have to change it to 1997 to 2016 okay and years per slice it's uh one is okay so it's about 20 years i can make it two actually then it should be okay and i'm keeping the reference for now you can play with all of them later so just for demonstration purpose i'm keeping this here i'm keeping also g also as it is uh, yeah, maybe i will just go for top n and i will just take top top 50 okay for each of the slice so for each of the time periods it will take 50 most cited or most awkward items for each of the time slices here and yeah that's it and i will go so here you can see the analysis it is going on right and we have 1478 records out of the 1523 which is more than 90 percent so that is okay okay so we will just go with visualize and i believe now we will see a very nice structure which you can see here okay so with this data set you see it gives us a very nice structure and very meaningful structure okay so if you get something like this you should be very happy okay <laughs> but you can see also things like the previous one uh, as we said and which was not making sense and that's because it's it's a very new uh, domain of research okay but still with other softwares you can make some more sensible analysis okay with the same data file it could be possible 
Anyway, so here, actually, I know all these three people, so that's really nice, and we were citing them a lot, uh, all, all these three professors, okay, and here you see the control panel, you can move it, so maybe I will put it in another window, but before going there, here, you know, you can play a little bit about node levels, you know, so let's say we, if we make node level a bit smaller, you know, if we want to make the node sizes a bigger, okay, so that's okay and these node levels and uh, size they're they're um, getting bigger or smaller by citations and here actually they're proportional already so that's why the ones which are bigger only are showing up okay so if i minimize it for now here we can also see some other analysis like here we can see the counts of citations okay here we can see the centrality calculation okay here we are, you can see the years here we can see the cited references okay so this article has been receiving uh, 287 uh, citations actually and this one got 221 so you can see uh, likewise again okay? it was published in 2008 2007 right and here you can see the centrality awesome if you want to have it visible or not, you can just take this, you see, it is gone now, but I want to see it. So if you don't want to see anything, you can just check it and it will be gone, but let's keep them all there. And then we close it to make it look a bit nicer. With this, you can move, move it a little bit. So just to make it in the, just to bring it in the middle, you know, and just moving it a little bit yeah it looks okay you can you can actually expand it if you want you can expand it a little bit more okay um you can also shrink it by this one with this one you can refresh here you can toggle the line shapes so they will be if you click it is like a straight lines if you click again it is curved lines so between the curved line and a straight lines some people like the curved ones some people like the straight ones okay so the ones the notes you see the bigger ones they are actually the most cited ones that's why we see them clearly okay here you can play with uh legend colors okay so here you see and uh, yeah colors are changing but let's keep them here you can play more with colors here here yeah which color you want for the background but with this one here we can make the back black background black so it's a black background some people like it but even if you do with the black background in the journal article please report with white background you know academics we are not very fancy we're not very fond of fancy okay so we like things simple and to make it white again, I will click here. So it's white again, okay. I will see if I can move it a little bit up. Nice. Here with this one, we can see some cluster structure here, but with this one, actually we can run the cluster analysis. So if I just click, also you can do it here with fine clusters, but what I will do, I will just click here and it will run some cluster analysis for you so here you see the modularity key is 0 0.67 which is pretty good actually uh, so these are meaningful clusters um, each clusters they have good relationship with the uh, connections in that cluster okay and similarly you see the shield index that is 0 0.83 which is also pretty good so this is a meaningful cluster analysis and here, you know, I see the number of clusters is 51, but here we see the main cluster. So here one, two, actually, yeah, we have, I think 12 clusters. Yeah, because we start normally from zero here. Can you see zero? No, actually one, two, three, four, five, zero is actually there. Yeah, I think it's 12 clusters in total. You see here there are some overlaps that's why I can't see what's in there but we can actually use the control panel to get rid of this overlap to minimize overlap cluster levels if I click this one then you see the overlap is gone 
So if I minimize it again, now you see, yeah, we start from zero and we go up to 11. So that's why we have uh, 12 clusters. Awesome, this looks really cool, you know? And so out of the 51, there are many clusters which had only few articles. So we don't really need them, okay? So we don't really need them. Uh, they don't really ha make a like meaningful cluster, okay? So these 12 clusters, they explain uh, the whole data set good enough, okay? So there are some uh, indexes, you can do it in many different ways, but for now, just have in mind that, you know, uh, the, the clusters which has one article, two article, three article, those doesn't really make sense, you know? But here, these clusters are good enough, 12 clusters to explain it. Here we see reverse logistic, here we see, uh, yeah, Macquilidria Industries, Sustainable Supply Chain Management, Environmental Strategy, Global Supply Chain, Green Supply Chain, Environmental Technologies, Defective Supply Chain Problems, Plant Environment Investment. This looks really good, really good actually. We can compare it with the clusters that we have in our paper, which we did using his side actually kind of subjective clustering. So we can actually compare these with that one. But I see that we, I know that there is reverse uh, logistics. If we have a quick look, let's have a quick look. So here, if we look into our clustering here, you know, so here you see, we have the reverse logistics, but then um, we have some green supplier development, uh, environmental impact on impact on performance, a collaboration with supply. So it's not green supply. It's not exactly the same terms here, actually, right? By the way, each of the clusters, they have different number of articles, okay? So maybe you would like to have it proportional, okay? So for the labels, you know, if you go for front size, you can go for cluster uniform proportional. We have both for label uh, node and cluster. So here, if I click once it will make it proportional to the number of articles in this cluster okay so if i click you see it became like really big right so the ones which have many articles they become really big so we can again use the control panel here you see we have the cluster uh levels here we can reduce the font size okay see if i make it a bit more smaller more yeah awesome awesome here actually I can also use this one for, yeah, okay. I don't want to take some time, so I will do it maybe later. So this is how it looks like, the cluster. It looks pretty good, right? But the name of the clusters, you know, you can you can change them. So the label, cluster levels could be based uh, from terms with the title. So which is actually the default, I think. Yeah, which is the default, which was the one that we used. But then we can also do it based on keywords. So you see the names change a little bit. So here actually you have to see which one makes better sense. So that will be up to you. Here it is based on abstract terms, but I will just keep it for with title for now. Then you have to read the articles and see which ones actually make the meaningful clusters. Okay, so. Great, so here actually now I see that we have a little bit down here and a little bit up here. Okay, so I can maybe zoom out. And this is okay uh, to follow, I guess. You can also level the clusters with subject categories from Web Science. You can also level the clusters based on uh, the reference title terms, okay, that is, you can use it for scopus. You can also level the clusters by year by year. You can have cluster levels by LSI, you have cluster levels by log likelihood, you can have cluster levels by mutual information. These are some algorithms, okay, and we're not really going to discuss much about this algorithm. And you can have cluster levels both by LSI and LLR. So actually, uh, some studies suggest that the LLR is one of the most suitable ones. So if I go for that one, let's see how this changes. If I go for LSI, changes a little bit. 
If I go, so you can actually report both of them. So if you go for this one, it shows both of them. Okay. Actually, I, I think this one looks nicer. Actually, in my case, I think the LSI, it makes better sense. Okay, so it makes this one is actually more um, seems more similar to what we have already reported in our paper. Okay, so like, yeah, these uh, practices we had and the drivers, and the reverse logistics, this is what actually it, it goes more hand in hand with what we reported in the paper. As you can see, this we had this. Um, this reverse logistics we had before then that we had the green drivers and here we have the environmental impacts okay so this this one actually seems more relevant with what we have reported in our paper so maybe i will go with this one for the node size actually we can play with it uh, a little bit so here you can select the node size by uh, this term here node size tree ring history here it's messed up so we can again play with the control panel yeah here you can play with the font size and the node size okay so you can play with them to make the suite level level okay uh another one is here we have the central lady so that's a common one to use for node size and then we can also use the node size based on eigenvector central lady you can do both weighted and weighted, unweighted. Okay, so I'm, I'm not going to run it now. It is going to take some time. You can do node size based on sigma. Okay. And you can do node size also based on page rank scores here. Yeah, it is taking some time. Here you see this is changing here. Okay, so when we are, I'm clicking here, the labels node size properties are changing here here we have the last one is the uniform size all of them are same but i'm actually i i would like to have it based on central lady or uh, the ring tree history so maybe i will just keep the ring tree history here uh i will increase the threshold higher so that uh Articles with less than 25 citations will not appear. Their node uh, name will not appear here. And front size, I will increase it. Yeah, maybe I should just decrease it a little bit. Maybe it's good to have it zero, you know, then we, we can see the picture looks nicer when it's zero, uh, the label sizes, right? You can also have some colors. So if I give some colors, you see, it looks, now it looks much nicer, actually. Looks pretty good. Uh, when you have such a nice figure, then one of the idea would be to save it. Okay. So I will just make it in the middle and then I will click here to save it. Save visualization as PNG. So I will just save this one. It will be saved in the project. Okay. Now I saved it in the project file. Okay. So now let's have a quick look. How does it look like? So this is my file. It opened in another window. So I bring it here. Wow. It actually looks pretty nice. Good. I would actually like to put it in a paper. I mean, of course, now I can't do it anymore because uh, it's a published paper. I already did a paper using this database, but like for other papers, actually, it'd be really nice to have a picture like this. So now you know how can you create a picture like this, right? Awesome.